Hi, I'm Deborah Saxon, APAC's Assistant Director for Policy and Government Affairs. I've worked in Washington for the past 14 years, and I've seen my share of partisan gridlock, but I've never seen anything quite like the polarization we see today. In fact, by some measures, Democrats and Republicans are more divided now than at any other time in the last two decades. However, America's support for Israel transcends partisan politics. When it comes to strengthening the U.S.-Israel relationship, our work relies on the support of both political parties. And today, it has never been more important to forge that kind of bipartisan support. Bipartisanship has always been the cornerstone of APAC's approach to strengthening American support for Israel, not because it sounds good, but because it's the only way to build a lasting consensus for pro-Israel policies. Here are two practical reasons why. First, a partisan approach to Israel is short-sighted. The fact is, bipartisanship is the only way to affect policies that keep Israel safe, no matter which party holds a majority. This has been the case in the past, it's true today, and it will be true in the future. Second, consider the numbers. While most bills in the Senate require a simple majority to pass, each senator has the right to filibuster or block a bill's consideration. To overcome that opposition, a bill must reach 60 votes. Currently, neither party holds enough seats to meet that threshold. Therefore, affecting policy requires the support of both parties. Please join APAC in working to ensure that our friend and ally Israel, the only democracy in the Middle East, receives strong support from both sides of the political aisle. I'm Deborah Saxon, and this is an APAC Hot Topic.